for some reason, this is still a topic. It seems like I don't I don't want to say this to start no shit, but it seems like the LGBT is really stubborn to take Dave out. And, and I have never seen him this There's uh, a- pretentious. It's, I've never seen him this. I've never seen any of them go hard to get someone canceled. I have uh, a theory. Yeah. I have right, a theory. Bro. It's that um, it's the shame. After that special, that special, if you really think about that special, that special is supposed to shut all of them the fuck up. If you think about it, especially the end. And the fact is they cannot say, you know what? Yeah, because what we did and what that led to, we got to check ourselves. They're not going to do that. So what do they do? They go even harder, son. They can't stop themselves. That's my theory. And did you hear about what he said? In response to all uh, this, what Dave said? Uh, which one? In general, he resp- I don't remember where it's from, but he said, um, ha. he said he'll strike back by doing 10 shows in the biggest cities. Because he said he was done and they didn't want to stop. He's like, all right, then if y'all don't want to stop, I'll just do this again 10 more times. Because y'all don't want to stop. Because oh, he, he told them, he said, this is it. I'm done. Wash my hands of this. You don't have to complain anymore. They still can't stop themselves. So, can I <laughs> can I say one thing? I didn't know he said that. Mm-hmm. That was recent. That just came out. I don't know the source yet, but I just heard it. I gotta find it. Go ahead. The thing I I still have to actually watch this um uh, this show of his or whatever to see exactly what he said. But the thing that has kind of been making me laugh with this whole thing. I've been seeing like on social media members of LGBT responding to shit that Dave Chappelle has said. And there are a lot of people, you know, who, who fall into that realm who are actually siding with Chappelle. So I feel like is is there a bit of a risk now within the L- within the LGBT, you know, whatever community? Because it is, there's always been a rift. Because again, I mean, okay, let me rephrase that then. Did De Chappelle kind of intensify said rift since you're saying there's nah. always been a rift? Because nah. again, there are a lot of people who are who are just like, you know, it 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 is what it is. It, it's comedy. Like there are there are several people on social media. Like I said. It, they're just they're just taking it. It's just like you know what? Yeah, we as you know, the gay, trans, whatever, whatever community, we we tend to do some funny shit. We tend to do some fucked up shit. They're they're actually holding themselves accountable for some of the shit that Dave Chappelle apparently was talking about. Whatever it is he did say. Again, I did not see what Dave Chappelle did or said for myself. Well, what you just said was in it. He said all that. <clears throat> exactly what they're saying. He said all that. Uh, That's why they, there's no need. There was no need for this. Because after I saw it, I was like, they should be done then, right? And it just kept going. And I was like, nah, now they're playing games. Now they just, it's either they, I, I, nah, I'm not going there, but something's wrong. <laughs> but I always said a conversation needs to be had. Like, if you feel the way you do, then like have a conversation with people that's going to listen to you. And, you know, Because I watched the protest and, you know, they were talking about how they felt disrespected and they was talking about how what Dave Chappelle was saying is actually harmful to their community. So if that's the case, then, okay, let's have the conversation. You know what I'm saying? It's shit that they do that's harmful to their community, though. So, no. But you can't say that, though. You kind of can't say that because you're not like part of that community. But here's what I want to say for uh, about all this thing, because like I've been watching both sides and it's just like when people talk about racism and, you know, the critical race theory, it's the same fucking shit. And this is a pattern. It seems like whenever somebody says something that's that is deemed offensive or somebody gets in their feelings about something that was said, instead of actually having a conversation or actually putting down what's so offensive about it. What we like to do is we like to get into our echo chambers and and do that la 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 I don't hear you because you're wrong shit. And in the case of Dave Chappelle, that what makes it what makes it so trifling is that Dave Chappelle actually doubled down in that special. 
he didn't hide what he was saying. Everything he said was crystal clear. When he said he was Team Turf, he meant that shit. When he was talking about his trans friend in the special, he actually uh, brought her up because this was the person that he genuinely cared about that just so happened to be trans. You know what I'm saying? So this was a case. This is a case of both sides literally not listening to each other. And the reason why the Netflix protest happened the way it did is because the Netflix CEO and the Netflix higher ups uh, purposefully didn't have the conversation with those employees that wanted to, you know, have the conversation. That's why they protested in the first place. So what exactly? Sorry, go ahead. No, I was no like I was just saying like that's the why that's why they didn't have that's why they went uh, for that protest because they genuinely felt like their uh, you know concerns weren't being heard. And you know who's going to take her concern seriously when everybody uh, assumes that you're just being mad for the sake of being mad because you do it all the time and you get something out of it every time. You know what I'm saying? Because, not, we're not ouch. used to having conversations. Because ouch. truth be told, when it comes to comedy, nobody's safe. And that's usually the general rule. That's what it was since uh, since the, since it all began with jokers and jesters in the kingdom and all that shit. Even the king was getting it. And the worst of it. That's where roasting comes from. That's how it is. And that's what? like... But if you're going to get your feelings, this is how it, it... Look, if you're getting your feelings hurt, turn it the fuck. Do not... Deal with the motherfucker that's offending you. That's it. Like, he has his job. He has his targets. We're going to get it. Chinese going to get it. Don't matter who. We're all going to get it. The, all you have to do as a grown adult who has a choice to press play on Netflix, okay, and avoid certain posts, that is possible. They're not invalids. They can do this. Spare your own feelings here. I scroll past shit that offends me all the time. Sometimes I see shit and I'm like, what can I fucking do about it? Just move on. There's no need to get... This is where... And this comes into the whole mental health thing. This is why. This is one of the reasons why. Because we concern ourselves with the things people say. And it's not even you specifically. And we're all in it. Some people just need to... We need to learn. This is what we got to do. There needs to be some sort of therapy or something to teach people who are easily offended or something. Because all this shit is very unnecessary. There are worse shit. We spoke on this the last time when this first came up about all the other comedians that had, and how we can't even say these things today, but it was okay back then. Everybody's alive. We're all good. What's going on? They're making something. They're blowing this out of proportion, straight up. Like, the, what can you talk about if you sit down and talk about it? If, you, if anybody sat down with Dave, you... Good luck, because he's not going to back down on this. He stood his ground. He said what he said, although in a joking matter, if you sit down, he's going to tell you seriously. If not, crack a few jokes in between. So good luck with sitting down. And these people, on the other hand, they don't know how to sit down and fucking talk either without getting offended by anything you say, even if you don't mean it. You try to say it the most respectful way possible. They will find it. You can't even sit down with them, because everything's going to hurt. So it's like a lose-lose. So all The only solution is Shut the shit off, for real. Get off the computer. You need a break. Go take a vacation. Go, yo, straight up. Get off the grid for a while. Reset. And this is one. This is another reason because we're all glued to these screens. We wouldn't even fucking know. <laughs> yeah, this, but this going is insane, back to man. I can't. I can't do it because I've I've been through so much shit. No, and I'm not saying everybody's. I know everybody's different. But I, I can see where this is coming from because I've heard shit. And there are things when, as I was getting older, jokes that were thrown, this, that, and the other, from comedians I watch, from things some guy said on the, on the radio, on TV. I'm like, so do they know me? They don't. These things you just eventually, as you get older, as you realize, as you live life and see what's really, what really can fuck you up, this is nothing. And people will see this if they live in the real world for once. Because I'm telling, this is just, I don't know, this is blowing my mind. Seeing this is, it's just funny to me at this point. Because I know he's probably, he's probably fucking laughing. Because they're making him, they're making him more than he even fucking expected. He's benefiting from this. And they don't know how to stop. And they're not seeing that. They think they're winning here. What, is, what was his response? You're not going to get a discussion. And he knows that. Because what? They drove somebody to fucking kill themselves. They're going to sit down and talk? They can't even acknowledge by the end of the boy he said in the show 
They can't even acknowledge what the man said. That this person, just like you guys, but as a comedian, knows the craft, knows everybody's going to get it, but has the same concerns as you. And they told you that in the tweet. And you still, and you could have had a conversation with her before you started ganging up on her. Oh, what's he really like? Is he, re you know, ask that question before you attacked her. When, when you know, when y'all are concerned, when y'all are offended, and one of you came out of it who's actually in that realm, why not ask that person? Is this, how, how's, you know, find out. Don't stay there and get offended and start throwing daggers at the motherfucker until now she's dead. Why? Unnecessary. I'm, when it comes to this and what people say and jokes, the same threats or anything like that, I don't want to, I'm sorry, like, <clears throat> especially with shit I've been through and I've overcome all I have, like, I, I can't, I can't take any of this seriously. This is just a joke. I, I, I just want to say that Dave Chappelle has cracked on black people the worst more than anybody. The shit these days he said about the LGBTQ was light work compared to what the shit he said about black folks. I'm about to say, did they, I'm about to say, did y'all, did these people watch the special because I don't think they were the ones who deserved to be protested. <laughs> I, I was that I, I was just you know you know you know D Wolf. I felt like what D Wolf said needed to be said, but I just you know I go back to just common sense. Did y'all watch the special? Like, did you hear the shit that he said about the Asian? <laughs> like, like I mean, just like let's be real. <laughs> Everybody, it was an even playing field. Everybody got hit. Everybody got disrespected. Everybody, he he said jokes about everybody, and that was the only group that got offended, and they took it to the extreme. There's just no point in doing this shit. Agreed. It's good. Uh, to, to piggyback off of what you just said, Q, I, I'm tr I'm trying to remember the name of the comedian, but I remember someone saying comedy is supposed to be offensive. That's the whole point of it. Yep. Sound like I'm telling you, the, the things gestures used to do to kings, like say to kings, anyone who said that would be beheaded once, like immediately. They were the only ones, and it evolved into stand up throughout time. And now it's a fucking problem. This is, yo, this is insane. <laughs> also, Dion, I'm going to kind of disagree with you there, but go ahead, Crystal. I'm just going to cut through the bullshit and call it like I see it. What they're dealing with is betrayal syndrome because of what the media and other outlets have portrayed and made them a victim. So what I'm saying is betrayal trauma is basically a type of thing where people utilize everything that they've been through, either in an organization or individual, as the main thing as to why they're hurt, as to why to agree with someone's opinion. They'll never see past themselves, which is also a narcissistic behavior. I know I bring up narcissistic behavior a lot because when you have a narcissistic method of thinking, you can't see past your own wounds. Therefore, someone could say, hey, I just killed a child, but you don't have any kids. You don't have any uh, relations with kids. You don't have anything related to kids. In fact, you don't even want kids. So, but the minute they mention something that happened to you as a child, then you're like, oh, I'm hurt, I'm this, I'm that, because you're just thinking about yourself. You're not thinking about what the other child's going through because you can't relate, period. At the end of the day, um, the feelings get in the way of what the message is. Uh, I would say, look at Bill Cosby, they will continue, they continue to go after him. So I don't see a difference when it comes to Dave Chappelle because he was speaking the truth. Ego plays a large part in people's own demise. So the organization of the LGBTQ community um, will never see the meaning behind 